Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to easily create a 3D flipping animation for your images in your WordPress website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my WordPress website. So if I go to visit site, this is how the website looks right now. And uh, the theme that I'm using is called Astra. So here, if I go to appearance themes, we can see the active theme is Astra. Right, so now let's go ahead and add a plugin to add the flip animation. So for that, let's go over here to plugins and click on add new. Now you have to search for a plugin called Flipbox. And here we can see this plugin called Flipbox. So just go ahead and click on install now. And once it's installed, just click on activate. And once you activate the plugin, you will uh, come to this page right here. And on the left, we can see we have a new option over here called Flipbox. So now to create a new Flipbox, you have to go to Flipbox and click on create new. And here it says select Flipbox layouts. And uh, then you have to give a name and then you can create your Flipbox. So here we can see these are the animations that we have over here. And we have different styles over here. So you can go ahead and choose the ones that you like. So let me just choose uh, this uh, style right here where we have this image on the front and on the back we have some information and a button. So let's go ahead and click on this button called create style. And we have to choose from one of these layouts. So let me just close this and let's see which of these looks better. And I think this one looks better. So let's select the third layout and click on the third layout and just give it a name. So here I'll just type my flip box and let's click on save. All right. So now we have this option to make the customization that we want. And if you scroll down over here, here we can see the preview. So here we have the option of changing the flip type. So we can flip right to left or left to right or all these options over here. And then you have the flip effects. So these are the easing. So you can select any of these easings from here. And then we have items per row. I will explain this later. And then we have the width of the card, the height and the border radius. So all of these are over here. Let me just change the border radius to eight. And then we have the margin over here and uh, how the link should open. So when we click on this button right here, should it open in a new tab or should it open normally? So you can select any of these. And then we have the option of adding an animation when uh, this uh, flip box loads. So you can select an animation from here. So let's select the shake animation and it says it will work after we save it so let's uh, move on to the next option which is the animation duration so here we can set the duration of how long the animation should last and then we have the box shadow options over here so you can change the shadow length the shadow radius and all of those things and there are some pro options over here as well so if you buy the premium version of this plugin you can go ahead and edit all of these options. And then if you go to the next tab over here, which is front, you can change the background color. I'll just leave it as it is. Then we have the back end. And uh, here also you can change the settings over here, the header settings, the font size and uh, the font style and all of these things over here. These are all simple options that you can change. So you can go ahead and try these and uh, see how it looks. Right now, I think it looks fine. And then we have the option of adding custom CSS. But uh, I think for that also, we need a pro account. Right, so let's go back to this image. And uh, now let's go over here to edit to change the text and all of these things over here. So if I click on edit, we have this pop up over here where we can modify these things. So the first thing over here is the front image. So let's go ahead and click on upload image. And here you can go ahead and click on upload files and upload your image from here. But I already have some images in the media library. So I'll just select one from here. So let's select 
this image from here and uh, let's click on choose image and then we have the option of changing the title and the info so you can go ahead and change all of these i'll just leave them as it is and then we have this button text so you can change this as well and then we have the link over here so this is the link where the user will be taken when you click on the learn more button and then you can also add a background image for the back end so let's upload an image and see how it looks this one right here and uh, let's click on choose image right now let's click on submit and here we can see the image and if we hover over this we have the back end and the image is not being displayed over here so i think we have to select the other template for that so let's leave it as it is and uh, let's go back and uh, let's click on save over here and our flipbox has been saved with this name my flipbox and now to add this to your website you have to use this short code over here so let's copy this short code and let's go over here to posts and let's create a new post so let's add a title over here testing my flipbox and uh, to add a shortcut you have to type forward slash and then type shortcut and then you can select this shortcut from here or just go ahead and click on this plus icon and just search for shortcut and select this and now here you have to paste the shortcut so I'll just paste it over here and uh, let's click on publish All right let's click on view post and uh, see how it looks so our flip box is being displayed over here and let's hover over this and uh, we have the flip animation now let's go back and uh, let's go back to the dashboard and uh, let's uh, go to the flip box and I think the animation was not saved so when we refresh this page we don't have any animation when it loads so let's go back and click on edit and uh, here we can see no animation so we'll just select this uh, shake animation from here and uh, let's click on submit and uh, let's reload and we can see that the shake animation is being added so let's go ahead and uh, refresh our page and we have the animation over here right now let's add multiple flip boxes to your page so let's select another template so I'll go over here to flip box and click on create new and uh, let's select this one right here we have images on both sides so let's click on create style and we'll select the second one and I'll just add something over here my flip box to save it and uh, here we have this flip box now let's quickly change the images I just leave the title and the info as it is and here for the icons it is using font awesome so you can get the code of the font awesome icon and add it over here so if I click over here we can see all the icons are being displayed over here you can select any of these and it will be added over here and then we have the front image let's upload our own image I'll just select this one and then we have the backend title and the backend info and you can change the link to whatever you want over here and the backend image so I'll just select this one right here and click on choose image and let's submit and here you can see we have this flip box when we hover over this we have the other image and uh, the text over here so everything is working all right now let's add one more flip box so here you have to click on add new flip boxes and then here you have to add the title and all of these things over here so I just add some random info my title and we'll add some lot of some text over here so I just copy this and the front icon let's select one of these icons I'll just select this one right here and uh, the front image let's select this image and then we have the backend title so I'll just type title 2 and the backend info and text and I'll just type hash over here and the backend image 
I'll just select the same image and click on choose image and let's click on submit. Now let's scroll down and see here we can see we have two flip boxes and all the images and everything is working all right. Now let's place these one next to the other. So for that you have to go over here and uh, here we have this option called items per row. So you have to click over here and select the number of items you have. So right now I have two items so I'll just select this one. And here we can see we have these two items on the same row. And in the same way you can go ahead and add multiple flip boxes from here. And you can go ahead and add the animation, the front, back end, custom CSS and all of these things. Just like we did in the previous uh, flip box. So I'll just leave everything as it is and uh, I'll just click on submit. And uh, I'll just click on save. Now this is the short code for these two flip boxes. So when we add this short code, both of these flip boxes will be added to our post. So let's copy this and uh, let's add a new post. So I'll just type something over here, multiple flip boxes and let's add the short code and we'll just paste the short code over here and let's publish and let's click on view post and here we can see multiple flip boxes are being displayed and uh, the hover animation is also working all right so that's basically how you can easily add 3d flip animation to your wordpress website so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day